I don't care what anybody says about this phone. It's freaking sexy. That little notification light is just awesome. I love it, love it, love it. I've seen it like maybe four or five different colors. All right, first things first, while I'm doing all this, I'm gonna plug it in. Right now, this phone is running AOKP, the latest build. AOKP is freaking awesome. I really, really like the battery bar. At first, I did not like the battery circle mod, but like most things, after a while, it grows on you. Anyways, one of the first things I'm gonna do is, you'll notice that we're using Nova Launcher. So I'm actually gonna go into the settings, click on Nova Launcher. We're gonna go to Nova settings. Back up, back up, press OK. So now all of our configurations and flipping and app drawer and everything is going to be backed up so we can easily restore it. Then I'm going to go ahead and use Titanium Backup. If you have any filters, this is how you'll clear them. Just press clear and then check the box and now everything will back up and restore just fine. Press this little batch icon right here, back up all user apps and system data, and then press the little checkbox and wait for it to finish. <laughs> all right, so it's finished. What you've probably seen me do in many of my Evo 4 GLC videos is actually reset my Google Wallet settings. Just go up here and press on Menu, and then Settings. Reset Google Wallet, reset. Now I do not have any kind of clue if this is necessary because I've flashed ROMs without doing this before. I'm just doing this as a precaution. I have to do it in my Evo, so I'm gonna do it on here as well. And when it's done, it takes you back to the home screen. So we backed up our desktop settings with the Nova Launcher backup. You can back up your call logs if you want to, which the Tinian backup just did that, as well as your stock bookmarks, call logs, messaging, etc. But you can use apps like SMS Backup that put it on your SD card, or you can use SMS Backup Plus, the little plus symbol next to it, and sync them to your Gmail account, which is pretty convenient. We both have been using Google Voice for a long time, so there's no need for that, considering they're stored on our Google Voice account. And all of our contacts, are synced to our Google account, so I'm not going to back those up either. Before powering your phone down and going into recovery, open up Goo Manager, press Settings, choose Install Open Script Recovery, press Yes, then press Yes again. That will ensure that you have the latest recovery. What you want to do is power it down. What you're going to want to do is just power it down. I'm going to do this completely manually without using the super easy, quick way of Goo Manager. If you want to do it that way, that's perfectly fine. It's just, I do it that way in most of my videos, so I want to go ahead and show you the manual way. Hold down the three buttons, volume down, volume up, and power. I just kept holding it until it went to that screen right there, and then press this to get to recovery and press power. If I wasn't making this video, I would definitely just use the Goo Manager app, choose the ROM and the Google add-ons, factory reset, and I would just I would do it all using the app so that way I don't have to sit there and do each step manually. And then once this step finishes, I can move on to the next one. I do not like doing that at all. So we're gonna do backup and I'm not gonna do the cache or recovery since we're not gonna get rid of twerp recovery. And that was another thing I should have pointed out is I updated recovery just by simply opening the Goo Manager app that you can get from the Google Play Store, pressing the menu button, and then choose install open script recovery. Press yes, and then press yes. Sometimes it'll reboot and sometimes it won't depending on whether you already have it installed or not. But as of this video, 220 is the latest one that I know of. I'm gonna enable compression so that way the file size is smaller. I'm gonna back up everything but the recovery and cache like I said, and then I'm going to name it A-O-K-P, go, and then swipe. Unfortunately, this does take a long time, especially if you enable compression. I'd rather enable compression, wait a little bit longer, and have a smaller file size that I can store somewhere else. Like, I highly recommend taking this, plugging it into your computer, clicking on Galaxy Nexus, and then dragging your backups to your computer and saving them on Dropbox, just whatever file storage site you want to use, and keeping it safe in case something happens and you totally reset your phone or something. I know with the Nexus S 4G on Sprint, if you install a ROM and do a factory reset, it resets everything. You lose your pictures, every single thing that was on your internal SD card, you lose it. Not with this phone. 
And another advantage to using twerp recovery over clockwork mod recovery is it gets updated more. It's much, much more stable and you can charge it while you're in recovery. It's recommended to do this with a good battery, but I mean it charges it while you're in recovery, so take it for what it's worth. If you've been following me for a while, you don't know that in my old Samsung Transform videos, I used to put a little thing up that told how long it took because I don't make y'all wait through this entire process. But if you watch the clock in the top left corner, that should give you a good idea of when it started and when I finished. And you'll also notice that the battery is now at 95% and it was at 91 earlier. So trust me, if you're using Clockwork Mod Recovery, I highly recommend switching to Team Win Recovery Project and making a backup because you cannot restore your Clockwork Mod Recovery backups with Twerp. All right, the backup is complete. At this point, it's completely optional if you want to be safe and make absolute sure that you don't lose anything that you've had on your phone for a long time and hook your phone up to your computer and transfer your Nova Launcher backups, your Titanium backup stuff, and your Twerp recovery backup stuff. It's actually pretty easy without even booting to the system. Just press mount, hook your phone up to your computer, and press mount USB storage, and transfer over your Twerp backup, Nova Launcher backup, and Titanium backup stuff. That's just a safety precaution net in case wiping does that. We're not gonna press that one. Do not press that one. Factory reset. Ta-da! All right, that's actually pretty quick. Press back, install. I put everything on the root directory of the SD card just so it's easier to find. When I'm flashing via Goo Manager, I put it in the Goo Manager folder. As of making this video, it's on 8.18, which is like yesterday. Yeah, because today's the 19th. This is gonna be updated quite frequently, so you can actually follow the same exact process, but just take the updated CM10 nightly and flash that instead. All right, we're not done yet. We have to go back, and then we also have to do the Jelly Bean Google add-ons. ICS means ice cream sandwich, JB means jelly bean, and GB means gingerbread. This device comes with ICS, so you'll never have to worry about putting anything older than ICS on here. Oh, wrong one. Jelly bean. No. <laughs> Why am I doing this? There you go. If you do not flash this, you will not have the Play Store or any Google apps like that. You'll just have a stock phone that can only make phone calls, receive text messages, and etc. All right, now we can actually reboot to the system. If you watched the video I just posted yesterday on CM10 for the Evo 4 GLTE, I wonder if it's going to have the new boot animation that my phone had. Or if it's going to have the CM9 boot animation. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, fingerprints are... Oily. Okay, so I don't know why this Evo 4 GLTE has the new CMX boot animation. Maybe it's not official, I don't know. But we're obviously not installing CM9, so this isn't the official one for sure. But it is the official one for CM9. Unfortunately, my internet is actually down at the moment. So I'm just going to have to skip sign in. And there is CM10. It's very important that you note this is from the official CyanogenMod Mod team. So this will get updated frequently and things will get fixed rather quickly. This isn't something that's going to be updated once every month or two or longer. Notifications are a little bit different in this one. I've covered Jelly Bean in other videos and you can watch people like MKBHD. He makes some pretty awesome Android videos as well and reviews Jelly Bean entirely. This is official signage and literally just a page and a half of apps. Nothing that you don't want or need. Apollo is their new music player app, specifically designed for Sign Engine Mod. I'm pretty sure LTE works. Unfortunately, I can't test it. I have to like stand outside, hold my phone in the air, and I can't even get it on video. So if LTE works, I will definitely put it in the description. I don't see why it wouldn't. As you can see, 4G was working just fine. I mean, LTE works on my Evo 4 GLTE running CM10 unofficial builds by Kushdeck. Vibrate, silent, loud.
We'll go to about phone. And there you go. CM10. Android 4.1.1. You can take these and flick them out of the way. Wee! Bye bye! Oh. That's about it. I've done many videos on Science Your Mod 6, 7, 9, and 10. So feel free to check out all my other videos. If everything works, this will be my wife's daily driver. I am getting the SGS3 before the end of the month, and I can promise you that. I absolutely promise you that. And they have CM10 available for the SGS3. The same exact ROM, but on a phone with a slightly larger screen. Well, actually, you're going from 4.65 to 4.8 inches, so it's a little bit bigger. Faster processor, twice as much RAM, better camera. This is a good phone, do not get me wrong, but I'm totally excited to get the SGS3 and throw CM10 on it. And that will happen before the end of the month. If you want to see more videos on the Evo 4 GLTE, Transformer Prime, Galaxy Nexus, SGS3, and future devices, and old ones like my beat up Evo 3D, Please click the little subscribe button up there. It will notify you when I post new videos and I upload new content on a regular basis. My daughter just started school, so I promise you my videos will be a little bit quieter in the background and you won't hear her anymore. So yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you liked it and you want to see more videos like it. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see future videos and feel free to check out all my old ones. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Before you go, and if you're still watching, thank you very much. We're going to go over here. We're going to search for Goo Manager. Click on it. Click Install. Press Accept and Download. I'm actually using a mouse and a keyboard. So that's pretty awesome. Open. Grant it root permission. What I was talking about updating your recovery, just choose Install Open Script Recovery. Choose Yes. And as you see right there, we have that version. If there's not an update, you do not have to do this. But if you're on like 212 or something, then you definitely want to press yes. Wait for it to count down. And this is also pretty cool. When you plug in the keyboard, it has a little A right there at the top. Right there. Here's the little cheap four port hub that I have hooked up into. I have this cheap little micro USB OTG adapter that was like three dollars on Amazon and it's powering all this. When it's done, if you have like Clockwork Mod Recovery or any other recovery on there, it will probably reboot on you. So make sure you're not currently doing something. It won't prompt you or anything. It'll just reboot. If you're updating your recovery, it should not reboot on you. Just precaution. And that's how you make sure you have the latest Torp Recovery installed. Trust me, it is very important that you do that. Unlike Clockwork Mod Recovery, it actually gets updated frequently and things get fixed very quickly. And I totally love Goo Manager. Alright, I promise you this video is now over with. Again, if you like this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. This is what would Josh do. And now I'm out. Deuces.